Lord, you're more precious than silver, and you're more precious than gold. And, I, and then as I was singing that song over and over to myself, he reminded me of that song I used to sing as a kid, that my friends were silver and gold and precious to me. And really, at this point, you're very precious to us. But Jesus is the most important and precious thing that we have in our lives. And if it wasn't for him, uh, we sure wouldn't be going anywhere because we couldn't, we couldn't ask for better friends or, you know, more people that loved us and cared for us and that had a common vision with us. And so, as many of you as we don't know real well that are silver friends and people that we know pretty well that are gold and, and the ones we know really well that are really precious stones and jewels to us. We really will miss you and, um, you know, have really loved having an input in your life and in the input you've had in ours to make us to the people that we are today. It's a blessing to see your life grow and change and it just the way I know I have changed from the day I moved down here to this person I am today is the work of Jesus Christ in me because I know he's been faithful to me from the very first day. And I really trust Jay in this move. I really have a good vision for him and I can see where God's going to take him and us on. But, you know, like right today, it's hard to be real excited about tomorrow. So I told Jay, don't ask me to be excited until tomorrow. <laughs> Just don't talk about it. I'd rather be depressed, you know. <laughs> so anyway, we've already put in our faith and hints to Jim Grabo to invite us back and three week long seminar or <laughs> something comparable. So we're hoping for an invitation within the next year so. <laughs> so we won't it's not like we won't be able to see you all again I think it's just the breaking of the ties that's hard so anyway that's that's really all I wanted to share <clears throat> first time I've ever really gotten up here without anything to say <laughs> I can't. Th I couldn't think of anything. I thought I'd give the history of the church. At least I could feel more comfortable in that overhead. But Rosie, I said, scratch the history. I don't want to hear that. Um, I'm really honored to be considered to be an elder in this church now, and um, I hope that <laughs> I'm going to do a good job. No. <laughs> Uh, how many of you see my truck out there? It's a rider truck. Can't miss it. It's a real easy driving truck, so I'm going to be an easy rider going over there. To, well, anyway, let's. I um, I'm reaching for things. <laughs> I, I really just want to thank you. That's about all I can say uh, today is to thank you for being such a, a neat church and. I just look back at it and just the recent things that have been taking place and the video that the singles put together and all the talent here and just I really God has just really blessed this people uh, a lot of talented people and and um, I've always from the time I, I started this church I just marveled and I would sometimes reality would hit me and I say I'm the pastor of these people uh, especially at share dishes and the uh, first share dish uh, we had, I think the Smiths were there, Doug and Carrie, and, and uh, there were just a handful of people, and, and every share dish that came around, we kept watching more people until now there's just a great big huge circle and just a big mass out there, and, and I just feel like one of the people, and I'm out there, and I think, I'm the pastor of these people, and I just marvel that, that God would use, you know, someone like myself. I've not ever been anything really great in my own eyes uh, growing up or anywhere else first time I ever became a leader any, of anything was here in the Fort Wallen Beach Christian Center when I came and started this church and and I just really have always counted it such an honor and such a privilege to to be able to be in a position to 
to be your pastor and to give you as much of God as I can uh, give you and through the word and so on. And I just really want to thank you so much for, for making this time here, the seven and a half years I've spent here, a, a very memorable time of my life and uh, a time of, of growing myself and, and giving me a depth uh, in the Lord that I could have never known any way else. And I just want to thank you for, for your love toward us. And it's just really overwhelming, uh, the love you've showed to, to Rosanna, myself, and my children. And I just thank you for, for you people. Thank God for all of you. And I know that this is going to be a great church. It has been. It's going to continue to be. And I told Jim the other day that when I come back, I really expect to see this place packed out, if not already starting another building program. So I, I just want to thank you, and I don't really know what else to say but that. And, and I love you, and I'm going to miss you. God bless you. Amen. Okay, I'd like you all now just to start making your way up on the chairs on either side, please. Any of you, that is, that, that feels that you would like to uh, just have something to say to Jane Roseanne, uh, don't be bashful. We want to give opportunity for everyone here. But there will be, a, I will say this, that please keep your comments uh, relatively short because I think there's going to be many people that are going to want the opportunity. So, uh, Jim, I think we'll just start off with you, Kate. I'm just going to say it didn't look like anybody was going to come forward. I know there's a lot of people out there that would like to express some things to Jay and Roseanne from their hearts. So I just want to encourage you just to, as, as Jim did, start moving forward and, uh, and uh, bless Jay and Roseanne today. I just want to say uh, to Jay and Roseanne, I can remember the time when I first came to this church about, uh, about six years ago with my bib coveralls and my long hair. And uh, Jay, Jay used to check me out real close and keep an eye on me there. But it's been because of the Fort Walton Beach Christian Center and Jay Zinn and most of all Jesus Christ in my life, life of course. But, you know, I was relating to what Neil was talking about, about making that mark uh, on the tree. And Jay, you have made uh, a mark. You know, the Bible kind of likens us to a tree of righteousness. And it's, it's not only been Jay, it's been Roseanne too and, and just the whole family that have made a mark on the tree of my life. And I know that because of what Jesus Christ has done in your life and your faithfulness and your obedience, and you continually, both of you, pressing on towards the mark, <clears throat> it's been because, uh, because of that I've become what I have in, in Christ Jesus today, and, and I'm thankful for that, and I love you both very much, and, and uh, I just know that I know that God has great things in store, not only for you, Jay, but for you, Roseanne, as well. Amen. Um, I've been praying, asking God to, to give me something to share because there's so many things. But the two things that have been sticking in my heart for three, three or four days now was then um, when I first came to this church about the second or third service, Jay did a message and it offended me. And I got real offended and I was on the front row, but it was the Holy Spirit was telling me, that's you. And um, the, my first instinct was to walk out of the church and never come back. But instead, I walked forward and I said, Jess, yeah, that offended me, but you were right. And it's something that I'll always remember. And, and so many people have walked out of the church because they've been offended, but it's only the Holy Spirit that spoke through him, and he was faithful to speak the Word of God to us because he loves us, you know? And I, I just wanted to, to share how much I love you for just speaking the truth to me. So many times I would just get like this, but it was the truth, and the Holy Spirit worked things out of my life that way. And the second thing that stuck in my heart was about... The second month or third month that I was coming to the church, he did a series, a teaching series, <laughs> on um, how to raise your children. And I read that thing and I studied the scripture 
And I began to apply that to my little girl. And, and it's bearing fruit. It's bearing fruit right now. And, and I just appreciate how you just did that. And, and it always is with me how I, I, you just brought that out so perfect and how it just works. And, ooh, I just want to, but, um, and Roseanne, I never got to spend a whole lot of time with Roseanne because she was always busy. And I felt like, you know, she's got so much to do. But I did get to spend some time doing her hair. And they were just precious times to me. And, and I'm just thankful for what the Holy Spirit is doing in our body. This is a step forward, not only for them, but for all of us. God, it's God's perfect will, and, and it's being done. And I just appreciate y'all, and I just love you. Well, I wanted to talk about some maybe hidden ministries that Jay and Roseanne have that just aren't, aren't acknowledged all the time, you know. I, I think Roseanne really has to grow in her ministry of describing food. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody can get up there and make you savor over a banquet that she's had like Roseanne. <laughs> and Jay can get up and tell the funniest joke and limit the laugh so much. <laughs> I, I really think these are ministries you have to go on in. And Jay, I want to admonish you to, to really keep away from open flames because hairspray ignites fast. <laughs> but really, it's... um. They're, they're really our blessings in my life because of the Zen. Um, when uh, I first came here, and, and uh, shortly after that met my wife, uh, when we were dating, the, uh, Jay and Roseanne put on a, a teaching, Jay mostly, about uh, dating, relating, and mating. But it, really, it was really a blessing to my wife and I, because right at that time we were dating, and it, and it opened up new channels and showed us you know, how to enter God's love into our relationship. Then we got married, and uh, he had, we had a marriage seminar then. And um, I think God really used this church and, and Jan Roseanne specifically to minister me, to me and my wife and to give me the gift that I have in my wife and in our marriage. And I just appreciate that a whole lot. They, the Zens have just been really examples too in their relationship to each other, in, in their marriage and, and Jay's relationship to his children and what a father should be. I really appreciate that. Roseanne, I really enjoyed the time when we had children's camp together. I really got close to you and and your vitality was so easy to catch and you know to get down and play games with the kids and stuff it was really a lot of fun and I enjoyed that and and being able to just your openness and and your honesty you know uh, to make friends and before God and it was just a time for me to really grow in the Lord to see that in your relationship to Jay it's just really been a blessing to me I really enjoyed that time because you know our friendship has really grown through that and I appreciate that there might not be very many people that remember but for those of you who do I want to expel the myth nobody made Jay laugh at our wedding that was all his own doing <laughs> <laughs> I remember the first time that I met Jay Zen was when I was working with Jim Moore. He'd just come to work at the store I worked in. And the first few times I met him, he'd come in with this big grin and he'd be really cheerful. He'd come in, hi, and greet everybody. And I'd go, there's something strange about that guy. He's always too happy. He's smiling all the time. But I wasn't a Christian, so I didn't know why he was smiling. And I think through the efforts of him, as Jim was saying through Jim, I was led to the Lord. And I was sitting here the last couple of weeks thinking about you know, after we'd heard that, that, that Jay was leaving us. And I was thinking of the input into everybody's lives that he's had just because he was an obedient servant here. If Jay had not followed the Lord's wishes, how many of us would not be here? Even though I was indirectly led to the Lord through Jim Moore, Jim Moore was led to the Lord indirectly through somebody else who was led to the Lord through Jay. But I think of the impact that Jay Zins had on the people in this church, and if it wasn't for him and Roseanne and obedient, obedient servants, they are we wouldn't be here today, a lot of us. And I think of the times that this man has stepped on my toes and I walked out of here bleeding because he was an obedient servant and, and was sharing things to me that I needed to know as a newfound you know, babe in the Lord. And I was able to go on and share those with other people that I always came back expecting to have you know, black and blue toes again. And he was always faithful to do it. But I know it was done through, through love. And I just praise God that, that, that Jay Zen was obedient to the Lord in such a way that there's a lot of us here today that, that owe a great deal to this man. Thank you. Well, five and a half years ago, my son Neil 
and my daughter Kathy and my son-in-law Jim wanted me to meet their pastor, my wife and I. And uh, we did. And I'm just happy that the Lord has selected me and given me the honor and privilege of having you in my life. Now, I know at first when it was a very small unity that we had here, Roseanne and Jay and Susie and Rick and Rock and Linda would be over at our, my wife's house and I, and I was smoking and drinking, and they had patience with me like the Lord did. But I still don't know to this day whether the Lord bombarded me with such fabulous people of God or they all liked my wife's cooking. <laughs> well, uh, I guess I'm like you. I really don't know what to say. Uh, I guess everybody knew that this day was coming, and so they you know, probably tried to think of what they could say, but uh, it's hard to look back over the years, you know, and and cap it all in just, you know, a couple of seconds. But all I can really say to you both is that I appreciate your faithfulness to me and uh, uh, because of your diligence, you purged a lot of darkness out of my life that uh, has been deeply rooted uh, and implanted in there that I just couldn't have dealt with on my own. And uh, I know that uh, you going up to to be a teacher and uh, I know that you'll do well because that's what you are and that's what that's where you're called now but uh, I'd like to insert that uh, you know I don't think that that's where it's going to stop for you because uh, because of your faithfulness and the way you uh, you demonstrated to these people you know your obedience and um, also too you know Roseanne is uh, been through a lot you know she's grown a lot and I you know I remember you know as she was at one time and you know how she is now and, and uh, <laughs> uh, if it you know if it hadn't been if it hadn't been for Roseanne you know Jay may not may not be here today you know, because Roseanne is Roseanne is strong and uh, she's uh, she's she's a, she's a rock and you know, she really is and uh, uh, she's really a great lady and uh, but you both find examples of of you know what Christian people should be in their everyday walk. You know, not just leadership or uh, uh, you know people that are in authority or uh, you know people who are looking to be in authority someday or people who want to go to Bible school. But just you know every person here. You know from from you know your children all the way up. You know to uh, all the adults. They're they're an example of what we should be every day of our life. And you, know, you you have two fine children who are obedient and and uh, who are well mannered and and they're both reflections of you. And uh, I just want to tell you I appreciate you and I thank you for you know what you've done in my life. Lord, <clears throat> I don't know if I can talk. I just want to let you know how much I love you. I'm sorry, <laughs> and you have to be under wonderful friends to us and in all the years that we've known you we have grown so much and it's because of you and we love you so much we're going to miss you God is good isn't he I tell you, you're good too Jay you're really good <laughs> I gotta say that I mean that with all my heart Jay you're really good and you did a teaching a while back on uh the example being the first and foremost uh, tool you have in showing others a good Christian walk and and I thought about that a few minutes ago when he started talking about example when I was following you around town yesterday in my van and you made a left and I made a right and you went on and I caught the light <laughs> then I caught the next light <laughs> and the next light and uh, your example so good, you know, and I get humbled when I get around you so so many times, you know. I, I look at your life and, and your style and, and your hair and all that other stuff, you know. And I tell you, hair without lacquer burns too. <laughs> and I'd be a pretty big flame. Um, I, I, I felt 
pretty good yesterday when we out we went out and shot the bow. You took time out to come all the way out to Niceville after all those other things you had to do, and, and we shot a little bit, and and I did so well, and you was having problems. But then again, I remember that the night before Don and I sat out here in the churchyard at 2:30 in the morning, and we set up four little balloons about that big, and she picked off three out of four, and I couldn't hit nothing. I was just, I was just blowing wind out there, and uh, God's really good, and and showing us examples to go by and it's not just our example to other people we need to be sensitive to other examples and your life's really been a, a big example and uh, I came to the Lord through indirectly through somebody in rescue that I had went through training with years ago and and I don't know if it's ironic or coincidence or God that uh, it was through him that I came here and it was that and, and many of the things you've done that's rescued me from the fire. And I just want to thank you and, and pray for you all. And I love you very much. God bless you. Well, I tell you, it's, uh, it's really strange when you get up and talk before people if you're not used to it. And I'm sure everyone can relate to that, you know. you're. But... Uh, I first started coming to this church in uh, 77 in January and it it was a little bit smaller at the time as you can imagine and uh, I think when when I first started coming the thing that really impressed me tremendously was to see a young man that that I could really relate to behind the pulpit I was really shocked when I walked in and uh, Jay was leading the song service and uh, I could really I could see him, you know, and I was kind of sitting there scratching my head to start with, saying, I wonder where the pastor is. <laughs> I don't know. I think Jay was probably 26 or something like that at the time. And uh, I'll tell you, it was really a blessing to see a young man that really, even in the state that I was in at the time, I could really see that he had a heart to serve God. And I really respect him for that, and he still does. And I just... Uh, I just want to thank you, brother, for the input that you've had in my life, and uh, God's really used you in a tremendous way here to start this church and to take it along to where it's at right now, and I just know that God's going to use you in a tremendous way in the future, too. There's one time that really sticks out in my mind, which I've been trying for I don't know how long to get Jay and Roseanne to the house. Well, finally... First of the year, they had us over, and uh, I was so scared, you know. Oh, I'm going to the pastor in his wife's house, you know. And, oh! and uh, I walked in, and she, Roseanne was putting things on the table, and all of a sudden, blop, there goes the meat. She tilted it over, still juice. Oh, man, she's normal, you know. She's just like me, you know. And it just made me feel so good because then I, after dinner, you know, <laughs> After dinner, I walked in the living room and Jay had the two kids sitting on the couch and he was reading to them, talking to them, getting them to tell them how many pages were in the Bible, how many, you know, all this. And it was really so neat. I just, it just really touched me to see how close this family is and how much they love each other and everybody else. And I just want to say I love you and we're going to miss you. Come and tissue. <laughs> I just love you guys so much, and I'm so thankful that God used you, Jay, and that you were so persistent to get me to this church, and I want to share this briefly. Before I got saved, I visited this church about two times, and I filled out a little card, and yes, I want the pastor to call, and it was right before Christmas, and it was a real busy time, so I didn't get to talk with Jay until after Christmas, the week after, and I had gotten saved during that time, and was going to a little Pentecostal church out in Walton County, and I was just really into it, and so Jay calls, I get to talk to him, and he says, why don't you come visit my church? And I said, well, I'm already going to a church. <laughs> and he says, well, why don't you just come visit us for um, New Year's? And I said, I'm going to, oh, I can't even think of the name of that church anyway, Point Washington. I'm going to Point Washington for New Year's. He said, well, well, why don't you come visit us Sunday? And I said, I'm going to Point Washington Sunday. And he said, well, why don't you go to Point Washington on Sunday and come visit us on New Year's? And I said, well, I don't know, <laughs> you know. We, we'll have to take a vote about it. And I'm thinking, man, why weird what does he want me to come to his church so bad for so I said well I don't know I'll think about it and so he, I said maybe we'll get together for a chat sometime and he said when 
And I said, well, I don't know. And he said, when's your next day off? And I said, Wednesday. And he said, okay, how about Wednesday? And I said, well, all right. <laughs> and he said, what's a good time? Three o'clock. And I said, oh, well, okay, I'll try to be there. And so all this time I'm thinking, man, why am I going to go? And it was just really weird. So anyway, I went and I'm so thankful. And I know Jack's thankful too. <laughs> but so I went into Jay's office and he, he's taken me a tour all around the church. And I'm thinking, well, you know, I'm not really all that interested. I'm not going to be going here. You know, and he's showing me where the water baptism is going to be and everything. But anyway, I went in his office and we just had a really nice chat and, and he started talking to me about the baptism of the Holy Spirit and I said, okay, okay, I want it. Well, how do you do it? What do you do? He said, just wait a minute, let me tell you about it. So anyway, I got baptized in the Holy Spirit that day and he said, well, why don't you come home and have dinner with me and my family tonight? And I thought, okay, sure. So I went home anyway and got to um, meet Roseanne and Angie and we just had a great time. And, I'm just so thankful that God used you so much, Jay. And, and like everyone has shared, um, all the input that you have put into my life is, has just been incredible because that, is, that has been my foundation on Jesus Christ and that he used you to give us all that teaching and all that food and all that knowledge. And all those times when you stood up there and, and you just shared your heart and you just pumped that into us, I'm thankful for that. <laughs> Like everyone has shared, you know, your toes get stepped on a lot, but praise God for those times. And I just appreciate the humility that you walk in. You have set such an example before me, and I know before everyone else that, that is just overwhelming, just the humility that you walk in. And God is so faithful to give a good woman to a man and behind every man is a good woman and I just love Roseanne so much and there God has used her in my life so much um I can remember right after I first got married um I uh, had to learn a lot about submission <laughs> and um God was real faithful to send Roseanne over to my little house on Ricky Street and we'd sit at the kitchen table and she would just share her heart with me how's it going to get better be encouraged <laughs> you know and there's so much freedom in submission I'd say where where but um, I just, I appreciate that so much. And I had the privilege to spend a few hours with Roseanne the other day. And she told me, she said, you know, I, if there was one thing that I could leave behind to everyone, it, it would be a good marriage and, and my example and the good marriage that Jay and I have. And, and that's what you've done to me, Roseanne, so much. You have just helped me so much just to learn and to grow and to be encouraged. And, and I just, I'm so thankful for that. And, and for the children, and we love you guys, Angie and Aaron, so much, and we're going to miss you, and I just love you. Uh, first of all, I just want to say uh, how much I appreciate you both. Um, I appreciate your example and uh, your love and your honor.